So typically you can just turn the blower door on, turn up the knob here until you have a difference of 50 pascals between the baseline pressure uh, and the building pressure. I'm actually going to use AutoTest. It's a free app that we have that has a couple cool features. First of all, it does a temperature and density correction. It, it also connects directly to the gauge and will also geolocate where the test is. So we have all that information in there. And then it also has wind assistant on it. So as you can see, as the, we have kind of a windy day here. So that's a really good feature to help us get more accurate data. And then it also has a nice report too. So when we're done, we have everything in one place. So with that, I'm gonna start the test. I'll enter in the outside temperature and the inside temperature. And like I said, it already grabs the location and the altitude for me. So I continue and now I'll start with my baseline. So now it's collecting data for a baseline. And we do have a bit of wind today. All right, and with that, then I'll take off the ring and start the test. And now the app is reached our building pressure and now it's gonna take data for us. And just like that, test is done. So we pull up the test here and right away the report will show us that in this house, we've entered in the volume. We have 11.48 air changes uh, per hour at 50 pascals. That's a, that's a very leaky house. Uh, and then we also found that we have a blower door of 2,143 uh, CFM 50. So if you've got any questions about how to set up a blower door, how to use auto test, how to use wind assistant, or how to use a multi-point test, we have a lot of videos on our website that go through that in great detail.